Getting a confirmation receipt for something that you bought or a reoccurring bill is common. It's a record of spending, right? But when you get an invoice for something you either know you didn't buy or maybe you think you bought it but you're not really sure, you really have to look at it. So I want to show you this. This is the email that I opened. Many of us skip reading the pleasantries, right? Because you just want to see the attachment. And at first glance, it has the PayPal logo on top. But I want you to take a closer look and you're going to see a $738 charge, something about Bitcoin and my order being confirmed. Okay, all of this makes you panic if you think the transaction really happened. And you're going to look for what? The phone number to call. That's exactly what the scammer wants. So here's my advice. I need you to really look at it. The phone number, for example, all right, it has all of these parentheses. The area code in a normal phone number would have parentheses, but not the rest of the numbers. So that's a tip off that this isn't real. Now, I also want you to look at the date. So we've got the date in two different places and it's got an 04 and then the September. Okay, we don't normally write a date like that, do we? We don't put the zero before the four and all that jazz. And then last thing, it was my email address that really tipped me off. And here's why, there's a comma right there at the bottom, at the back of my email address. Okay, so that looks like they copy and pasted it from somewhere else. Here's my list of don'ts when you get a confirmation email, that confirmation email. I don't want you to panic. Instead, take a few moments, really look at that email. Maybe you show someone else so they can look it over because they're not the one who's panicked. And then I want you to go to your account, your app, or through your regular sign-in and check your account. Don't let the scammers win.